I don't want to get a call saying Liz is dead. Which is why I wrote into the show. Uh, I really hope that she's not dead and, and Grandma Liz is like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm already dead inside. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back. I'm Ken. This is Buff Pro. We're checking out some Dr. Bill today. Yes. Ooh, yeah. And if you notice here, there's a meme couch that finally came in. We'll talk more about this in the next video. Well, the the next meme couch video, we'll talk more about this thing right here. Just right there, appreciate it, okay? It's really cool. And a lot of you have been asking, hey, Ken, what happened to the Dr. Phil cutout? I mean, we got, we used to have a Dr. Phil hanging up somewhere. He's gone, uh-oh. Oh. It's a vengeful spirit. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> he knows what happened because <laughs> this is what happened to the other Dr. Phil cutout. Oh. He got, he got melted. Oh, man. He got burned. Ah! Oh, that kind of looks like <laughs> 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 Dr. Phil, we couldn't put him in here anywhere. And Mary told me that we need to let we need to move on from Dr. Phil. So blame Mary. She said, you just need to get rid of that cutout because it's it's just it's tacky. <sighs> Sorry, Doc. I miss him. I miss him already. Where did that? Oh, there it is. He's still here though. <laughs> oh, <sad. laughs> here, all, right? all right, all right. We'll just put it right there. All right, so today's video of the Dr. Phil we're checking out is a grandma who sent their six year old to jail. Or will try to have them arrested. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. All right, so. This is, this is grandma right here. This is apparently the grandma who calls the cops on the six year old. But grandma also is homeless right now because her family has apparently kicked her out of the house. She's yep. been living in her car. She's been like going to truck shops to take showers, spending time in libraries because, you know, public, they're public places. She's got a library card uh, <laughs> and just feels like her family has just abandoned her. But I got a sneaky suspicion that it's probably her fault. <laughs> Uh, now, she did mention, you know, uh, it had been a week since her last shower. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm kind of looking at Doc's face over there just to see if he, you know, like winces a little bit or <laughs> notices, like, you know, just like, mm. Ooh, girl. <laughs> <laughs> look at the look that Doc gives him as he's sitting down. Do you see that? He's like, yeah. Mm, here we mm, go. She's here. <laughs> hey, you smell that? <laughs> There was an agreement when you moved in. So you would pay a total of $650 in cash, and then you would help with child care and house mm -hmm. cleaning. Man, I got, I got grandma paying to be a nanny right I now. I know, right? <laughs> like, hey, listen here, we need a nanny and you pay. <laughs> you gotta you gotta <laughs> help out, you gotta clean, you gotta give us six hundred dollars and fifty dollars for cable. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> What kind of cable they got? Yeah, they got the premium channels. The high speed. <laughs> cable I have, like I got a pretty good bit of channels and I pay less than 50 bucks for that. Really? Yeah. Wow. Really? I mean, the channels you care about. I mean, if you want like, you know, HBO or something, you're going to be paying some extra or whatever. But, <laughs> oh, man. I mean, no, Game no. of Thrones ain't on no more, so who cares? <laughs> That's true. There's only a couple channels that matter. They're in the 800s. Oh, <laughs> I get that one. I get that. That's a, that's a stretch. <laughs> that's where the adult entertainment is. Uh. Right now. But that's also on the internet for free. Anyway. <laughs> when I first moved in, that house was in deplorable condition. I did laundry for eight hours and I just, I couldn't do anymore. Dang! Wow, laundry for eight hours. Eight hours of laundry. The house is in deplorable condition when she got there. Yeah. How do you even do eight hours of laundry? I mean, I'm pretty sure it does the laundry yeah. for you. There's, <laughs> you know what I mean? There's like, machines for that, right? Yeah. You just kind of wait. <laughs> <laughs> you throw it in. Uh, no, she's in there washing it by hand. Oh my! Like, <laughs> eight, eight hours, hours just going at it. <laughs> <laughs> Still, that's a lot of clothes, though. That is a lot of clothes. Even for just, you know, the machine to do it. Stuff would get spilled on the table or on the floor and it would stay there for two or three days until somebody decided to finally clean it up. Well, I'm saying, but why did you not do that? Whoa, 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 Doc, don't be asking whoa. those guys. Kind of, whoa, man, look. <laughs> I was waiting for someone else to do it, so I wouldn't have to do it like everybody that leaves <laughs> food on the floor for two days. Yeah, just sitting there staring at it, you know, like somebody should really... Pick that up right there. But not me. <laughs> I'm gonna wait here and point at it until it happens. <laughs> like that lady in the crowd too was like, oh, <laughs> oh, what? Hey, two days. That's that's practically still fresh. What? Is, what? Is, what? 
was the problem? <laughs> when you said I, the kids d complained about bug bites. You said I, you thought it might be cockroaches. It, it might be. The cockroaches were all over the place. <laughs> the bug bites from roaches? <laughs> oh, man! <laughs> Look! I'd be scared. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been bit by a roach. I don't think I have either. And I guess that's, that's her daughter or the daughter-in-law? I, I would assume it's her daughter. <laughs> she was giving these death stares. Mm. She's like, pff, pff, eight hours of laundry. Eight hours of laundry. Yeah, you, did like, mm. you did at least three loads. <laughs> <laughs> I did not call Child but Protective Services. Isn't it true services. that you talked to a mandated reporter who yes. did call Child Protective I w Services? I asked him, uh -oh. please uh -oh. don't call. <laughs> I'm going to tell you all this terrible living condition, but please don't call Child Protective <laughs> Services. Okay. All right. All right. I mean, right now, just from the context that we have in this video, Grandma looks like the victim here. But Dr. Phil's not. He's he's grilling her pretty hard, so there's yeah. something going on. You know, she's... Mm -hmm. That's true. You called the police on a six-year-old because they wouldn't give you your phone back? I called the police because my daughter refused to have her daughter give me return my phone. Look, the kid just wanted to play games with my phone. I wasn't having it. All right? <laughs> Get my phone back. You know how much that's worth, kid? <laughs> Jeez. Probably bought a game on there. <laughs> the Angry Birds. Oh, no. Could have like a $1,000 bill. <laughs> Microtransactions. No, I did not do that. I called it because my daughter wouldn't make the kid give my phone. But same thing. <laughs> same thing. She literally told me she does not want to see you because you called the police on her. You called the cops on a six-year-old? <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Dr. Blaine really hear none of that. He's just like, again, <laughs> you called the cops on a six-year-old. And <sighs> Grandma's like, no, 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 I didn't. <laughs> the poor little girl's like, Mom, Grandma's a snitch. <laughs> She's a snitch, Grandma. <laughs> okay, get her out of the house, please. <laughs> she told that cop I dropped that food. <laughs> <laughs> and you a thought lot. that was a police matter. I told him it's not an emergency. But I called nine one one, which is an emergency number. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> Look, it's not an emergency. I'm calling nine one. What did she call nine one one on? <laughs> yeah, what? The, this nigga got a house phone. If, if you guys are living in a, a place that is really a bad mess. Well, let me let me ask you this, Dr. Phil. If she thought it was so deplorable, why'd she even move in? Dr. Phil's ever trying to like <laughs> nicely say that your house is garbage. Yeah. She's like, oh, well, hang on, Dr. Phil, hang on. <laughs> why, why, why don't you ask this question? Dr. Phil's about to point the sign on the wall and be like, <laughs> <laughs> my show. Whoa. Ranch. <laughs> Why is the house in such bad array to begin with? It's not. It's not. We, I, I, again, I... Oh, come on, don't try to defend no, the No, no, I'm not trying to... Just, I'm just trying to... I'm just trying <laughs> to... Dr. Phil's like, hey, don't, 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 don't. <laughs> no, 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 don't you say anything. No, no, don't you even get in here. It's ain't about you. You're just here. <laughs> <laughs> you're just here, all right? <laughs> she always comes up with these stories and somehow is the victim of these situations that she creates herself. Got you. I'll get that in a minute. Now answer my question. Yes, sir. Why are you raising four children in a house that is in such disarray. <laughs> Dang! <laughs> hey, dude just kept going and going. Dr. Phil was like, don't care. Anyway. <laughs> Listen, this is just common sense. And I, look, I see a lot of stuff sitting up here. Sure. And you guys are calling in the government to your family. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be doing that. No. You don't be calling the cops on your family. You know, snitches, <laughs> you know what happens to yeah, them, all right? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Let them know, dog. Let them know. My grandchildren are very important oh. to me. Have you asked how they are over the past oh. four, four months? months. Oh. Have, have you? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Have, have you, you even texted? Text? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma had the same look we did right there. Yeah. <laughs> Like, girl, you know how hard it is to make myself cry right now? <laughs> Don't ruin my moment. <laughs> uh, what does a roach bite look like? <laughs> it's got to be bad, man. It's, it's got to be because no, you've never heard of it before because everyone that gets one is dead. <laughs> it got to be. I have texted you. You have not. not. Oh. Oh. And asked me how oh. my children are. How I am, none of that has happened, Liz. None of that. Liz! Liz! Ooh, Liz! <laughs> she didn't even ask to see if we picked up that food yet. 
<laughs> Liz don't care about nothing but herself. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> I don't want to get a call saying Liz is dead. Which is why I wrote into the show. Right. I can see Liz laughing over there, but um, that's why I wrote into the show, so that I never have to have that question of <laughs> what if. <laughs> I really hope that she's not dead and, and Grandma Liz is like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm already dead inside. <laughs> I like how Janine's just being, just, she's just being straight up, you know? She's just kind of like, she's telling Doc that she, that's why she wrote into the show, so she would, she would know whether or not her mom's dead. <laughs> yeah. But at the same time, she's just like real mad about it, too. She is. She's being real stern. Real she's mad. Like, this is my what if, all right? Like, yeah. Ugh. I am making that effort by being here, by, you know. Really? This is your effort? I, it is my effort. <laughs> Doc said the same thing I was thinking. This is this, this is your go-to. This, this is it. Get him, Doc. Get him. Did y'all know what I think? Having buried my father and having buried my mother, what seems monumental today is going to seem very trivial when there's no chance for a do-over. Oh, he had that smirk at the end there. Yeah, like, yeah. There's no chance when they when she's gone. Mm, you're gonna regret it. Smirk. <laughs> smirk. <laughs> Yeah, she's even like looking past her little tissue here, like, oh man, Doc's for real. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dang, Doc. You got me right she's, there. She's trying to hide. Doc's making it feel small right now. Yeah. When you look over your shoulder, your history does become your future because you drag it all from behind and put it in front of you. He's talking about my browser history right now. <laughs> How do we talk about my browser history, all right? Yeah, you were just kind of dragging it, you know, <laughs> through the other monitor. <laughs> dragging it to the, <laughs> to the recycle bin. Yeah, if that's how it works, yeah. <laughs> there comes a point when you got to say, not even God can change what has happened. The past is over. The future hasn't happened yet. The only time is now. We've got to live in this moment and start here and now. Ah, Jesus, Dr. Phil just hit me with like three different ways to say YOLO. <laughs> <laughs> Strung them all together. <laughs> Put that to a beat. Bam. <laughs> so he's just telling them to like, you know, they got they got too much baggage and they got to get past the old stuff. And I like how he worded it like, with guidance. It is worth putting in some effort with some guidance. Because you guys is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna help y'all. Or try. Ranch. <laughs> Ranch. Ranch. <laughs> Like he's giving her the, he, he's not giving her quite the knife hand. He's he giving, what would we call this one? Like the, yeah, the, the, the force choke. The force choke. <laughs> force choke. <laughs> he's sizing her up right now. Like, come on, Grandma, what you got? <laughs> you weren't a very good house guest. Um, uh, that's not a question. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not thinking of an answer. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, Grandma. Yo, hey, that, try, that, I gotta hit it with that. Yo, that, that ain't a question, and, lady. And the crowd's like, yeah. <laughs> They turned the they turned the applause button on and everything. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't a good house uh, guest. You were miserable. I was very mis I was miserable. And you spread that misery around. I, I was a pretty bad guest. <laughs> I put the food there. I admit it. I admit I it. Did it. I, did, I did it. It wasn't a roach bite. I bit her. <laughs> <laughs> You two have a family. Yes. And and it's a nuclear family, and you're entitled to do it the way you want to do it. <laughs> AKA, it's a bomb. <laughs> it's a bomb, right? Nuclear family. She did raise you. She might have a few good ideas. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I don't know a whole lot about this lady either, but I'm going to say that maybe mom didn't do a great job. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> she raised you. She has a few good ideas to what not to do, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Dr. Phil, they say you're not supposed to have a favorite child. Uh -huh. Janine was always my favorite child. Yeah, you know oh, no! Whoa! Oh, the rest of the family right now is just like, <gasps> Mom! Yeah, someone's, someone's literally out in the crowd and be like, that's why, you're in, that's why you're in your car, Mom! That's why you're in your car! <laughs> favorite child. I like Dang. that the air quotes you've been hitting with. Man, it's, it's all getting aired out now. Dang. Everybody's crying. I don't believe none of it. <laughs> she ain't the favorite. Mm -mm. Favorite child. Well, you know we're airing this, right? I know. <laughs> <laughs> like the rest of them heard that. So whatever relationship you fix here, yeah. the rest are gone. We'll see you, we'll see you, we'll see you next time. <laughs> yeah. Part two and three. Oh, man. A family therapist is going to sit down and, and set up some ground rules. If I could work with you guys weekly, 
I, I swear I could fix this in my sleep. <laughs> <laughs> she thought that was hilarious. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> I like how Doc has to flex too. He's like, you know, if if it was me, you know, no matter weeks, this be done. Done ski, man. In my oh, sleep. Man. Well, let's see what the comments the internet has to say about the situation here. I'm not saying mom is right, but I get the feeling the daughter is a lazy brat. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite child? She definitely just burned some bridges with her other children right there. Yeah. Yeah. Mom. Okay, you're 18, so get out. Daughter. Uno reverse car. <laughs> 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 they say millennials can't live without their phone. Boomers. <laughs> <laughs> she read through my messages. I've been violated. It's like, bro, she's six. <laughs> she's still trying to learn how to spell. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of messages does grandma have anyway that anybody cares about? Right, like, grandma, what kind of messages she's you got anyway? She's sliding into some yeah. DMs, Who's you know? really like, the nasty one here, grandma? <laughs> it's like, oh, the mayor of the city, I like his policies. <laughs> Show him a little skin here. <laughs> Boomer, calls cop on six-year-old, Dr. Phil. Your house ain't clean? <laughs> You got a dirty house? <laughs> you called the cops on a six-year-old? No, Dr. Phil. I called the cops to tell them that there was a six-year-old <laughs> and that my phone was missing. <laughs> and then the husband was there's like, well, actually, and he's like, Shoo -doo 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 -doo. straight to the ranch. <laughs> anyway, guys, we hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, it's nice to have some Dr. Phil going on again. <laughs> if you got some more crazy Dr. Phil things you want us to check out, go put it on the Reddit, r slash cinnamon tweet us, whatever you got to do, put it in the comments. All that cool stuff. We'll see you guys next time. Oh, and I love you. Yeah.